And without a doubt, one of the fastest. Here's our lineup. Front row on the inside, the 5'11", of Talon Martin alongside Dane Culver in the 501. Row two, inside. It's Keg Martin, the 507, and Brody Martin outside of him in the 513. Row three, inside. Ryan Denny, the 560, and G3 Argueros in the 563. Row four, inside. Maverick Openshaw in the 545. Travis Jones in the 585 will start eight. Fifth row inside, Ashton Williams in the 520. John Walls in the 595 in the back row. The final two starters, the 524 of Drake Patetti and Haley Berry in the 530 starts 12th. I think I can tell you to hang on tight. Get those cameras ready. You're never going to know what you're going to see, and you don't want to miss a thing. But I'm pretty sure everybody already knows that. Always one of the most exciting races we have next to Pro Lights and Pro Twos. These kids have been crushing it. It's so cool to see. Hey, a couple more of my Midwest buddies. Todd Sleeper. Uh, wish we could make it out for one of these winners upon us here in Wisconsin. And Trent, Hans Trent Hansen, who runs a, a, a light buggy out in the Midwest. For years and years and years, um, just checked in from Rockford, Illinois. Nice. I hope to hook up with both these drivers uh, sometime in the near future. Probably at the mid 400, in fact. Green flag is out. We're underway. Talon with the early hole shot going into turn number two, making the corner coming out. In that tight hairpin turn, three carts. Oh, slight contact made, big time contact made. Oh, Just like man. that, Culver <laughs> in a sweet move, aggressive, but in a very easy, I mean, legal move, makes the pass into the lead. Well, here they come to the right hander here through the center of the track one more time. We got the split lanes here. Let's see how they're gonna split off. Look at this. We got the top two. I went opposite directions there, third and fourth followed on the outside. Oh, how about this? Drake's mom just let me know this is the first time back on the track for for Drake since he recovered from a traumatic brain injury after a dirt bike crash in August. Wow. They had no idea what no, was going on. I yeah. had no idea about that. I'm glad he's doing good. So time to get his racing shoes back on. And, and I got to tell you, I, I came from the motocross background, and I love seeing the kids in these. I know it's fun to go out and have fun out there, but these are way safer than being on a motorcycle. Well, once again, we got the Martin boys in the top five. Oh, contact in the air off that big, huge infield jump. Three carts make contact in the air. That's just gnarly. Well, let's talk about that in the points right now. Talon Martin up on top. 422, Cade Martin at 400, followed by Dane Culver in 371 points right now. So a little bit of separation oh, there. A great bumper cam. Dane Culver on the back bumper, the 501, our leader. How would, I mean, that is so neat. Now, and it goes right to the drone footage. So the fans at home are really, really getting the great camera angles. Oh, definitely. Talk about getting up at personal. That's what these drones do here. Get right there, almost in the driver's perspective as they run overhead to get to see what they're going through. You actually get to see how close these vehicles are together, too, when they do battle. So what's neat is uh, Lindsay Santos just checks in. She goes, go Drakey. <laughs> Whoa, three wide for the lead through the infield. Now watch, out, I keep saying it, outside entrance, inside exit, there it is. It looks like Kate's trying to make it happen, but he's got somebody right there in front of him. Talon Martin. Lou Lane at the bumper into turn one. Talon Martin was trying to go around the outside. Look at this. To the inside. Look at the, look at the, the back bumper. Oh, cam. you ain't kidding. That is insane. Talk about hello. Another hello. bang, another hello. bang. Man, oh man, <laughs> Talon is like not kidding around. Here, I'm trying to look at the track nose, look at the screen, Scott. Yeah, saying, I'm, like, I'm like, dude, here. look at this. You got to see this. It's insane. It is. He did not lie, folks. <laughs> if, if, if you have the ability to get internet here at the track, you need to get on your cell phone and watch the race on the live the stream. The footage is unbelievable. Yeah. 
So much so that Dave's up here sweating, <laughs> fogging up his glasses. It might be running up and down the stairs, might be doing it too. And I got a thermal shirt on, but it's cooling down again. And contact made right here in front of the crowd. Spotter's not happy, not exactly sure what happened. Didn't see it happen live. You always know something's going on. We see the spotters and driving people's hands going yeah, up in the no, air. Yeah, no, no. All these spotters are always jumping up and down and signaling touchdown. Yeah, it's good. But two drivers tied up right here on the front. It looks like it's going to be Wall. John Walls and uh, is that uh, Maverick Openshaw there, I do believe? They're tied together. So this could be... No, it might be too early to throw out the comp yellow or have this considered the comp yellow. Well, they couldn't get Whoa, it. whoa! Let's see. Yeah, yeah Talon's got to like... Oh, that's Cade. Oh, it's Dane, yeah. Cade, Martin. Cade, okay, oh, Cade, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, Cade. Now, there they go. Look at Walls. <laughs> Open shot. <laughs> that was a unison there. Here we go. More touchdown action. We got five spotters on here singing touchdown. <laughs> Oh, now six. What the, the only good thing about that? Now nah, one of them's mom. Yeah. Hey, what's worse, dad or mom? I'd have to say mom because she'd be signaling interference, or <laughs> unnecessary roughness, <laughs> completely offsides. Alexia, I think you uh, I think ought to be very, very proud right now of your little guy. He's up there currently in eighth place after having started last. So the kid's moving forward. He's getting his racing shoes back tied, tied on, so to speak. Uh, looks like our uh, top driver spotters are uh, possibly having some interactions there. Well, of course. Notch Ox is a reshuffle the field there. Dane Culver still out front there. Kate Martin, Talon Martin. Uh, it's it's a complete safety issue as far as having spotters with radios talking to their driver. Yeah. It's all about the safety aspect of it. And But, man, you think my wife and I go to a bunch of NASCAR races, <laughs> and we rent radios. Yeah. And I often think I'm quite sure that spotters and drivers forget that they're being listened to or monitored sometimes. Oh, yeah. But I'm telling you, we went to uh, – when we went to um, – Crystal last year for the dirt race. We were, I listened to, to uh, Haley Deegan and her spotter. That guy's good because Haley gets wound up a couple times here and there. You know, she's like, when she gets confused on what to do, yeah. you know, the car's doing this and the car's doing that, she doesn't know exactly how to interact with it. The spotter's right there calming her down. And that's that's her, key. Yeah. Oh man, the guy was so good. I wonder who's spotting for her now. That's she's, in, she's got a new spotter, yeah, going yeah. into next year. Now, look at this. Bumper to bumper, they every Nose single cart. They're hooked is, up. Yeah, if, if it, that's a train. That is an absolute a train. train taking wow. the green flag. Talk about incredible. Culver, Culver, Kate Martin, Talon Martin, Ryan Denny, Bertie Martin, Ashton Williams, G3, Argaros, Drake the Teddy, John Walls, Maverick Openshaw, and uh, it looks like uh, folks may hear Barry and Travis Jones, not so much in the picture now. This is absolutely astounding, right? What did I tell you? What did I, what did I tell everybody? Best, they still the show. This. Yeah. Mod carts have always done this, though. And and there's a fear factor in this that, and we got one cart coming to a stop in the back. I think that was one of the carts that was involved in the incident right here in turn yeah, one. Yeah, I think that's walls. Is it uh, the issue over there? Oh, no, that was actually uh, open shot. There's walls coming up there on the inside. They both had green cars. But look at this, Cade Martin all over the backside there of Dane Culver. Talon Martin there. Talon, of course, the points leader going into this one. He has 22 points over the lead, but the top qualifier was, uh, I believe, Ryan Denny. You know, there's something else to consider. We often talk about, you know, short course being quick races, bam, 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 going on. But for little guys like this, or little gals as well, there's, you get tired. Oh, yeah. These things, these things are so fast. Side by side off that big jump into the right-hand turn. Man, oh, man, Cade Martin, Dane Culver. 
Cade, let's see. They're still beating on each other. Cade will come out with the lead. Um, I mean, there's a, a getting in shape and, yep. and maintaining that. And by the second half of the race, these kids are getting tired. Well, yeah. Forearm uh, pump. Robert Gar uh, Gonzalez, who just got his first race in SR1, he goes, man, I can barely lift my arms. <laughs> so as I'm watching uh, Drake Patetti in particular, I can't help but think since this is his first race since August, uh, he's got to get a little bit tired because he's slowing a little bit. Still maintaining that eighth spot, I think it is. Yep. Ninth he's spot. He's falling back nice. to ninth, yeah. But maybe just maybe he's just hanging out until that comp yellow, though. Too. Boy, no, that's all. That's here gone, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can see Patetti back there a little bit deeper. It looks like uh, John Walls has moved his way up through the field there. Battling with Gargiros and the positive bedroom machine. Oh, our leader gets up on two wheels, oh, saves no. it. Oh, oh. oh, and then our second place car. Is that Talon? Yep. And it looks yeah, like. Yeah, Talon yeah. goes around. So some of our top carts, some of our top drivers and look are at this. making mistakes all over the place. Brody Martin now starting to move up there and battle with Williams. Boy, yeah, Talon. Our points leader deeper in the field behind John Walls. Openshaw having some issues with his car. He's like swapping out. I'm not sure. I think that might have been something from earlier. Or he's just trying to catch up and overdriving the car a little bit. That happens sometimes. Drive frustrated. I am catching the fact that a lot of these carts are, are hooking ruts. And they're flinging them up onto the up on two wheels and kind of upsetting the suspension going in these corners and coming out of these corners they're hooking sideways so is, is our second place cart Culver. I, can't tell, I can't tell if that's a shadow on the other side or if the window net is down oh now watch going through turn two see if you can pick it up it almost looks like our second place cart going on that back stretch if the window net is down I think it is. Yeah, I can see it pretty clearly through there. Let's see here. It is down. I don't know if our drone can pick that up or not. Now that, I would have to think, would be some sort of safety issue where he would have to be in the black flag to pull off to fix that. But he'd have to pull in the hot pit, so his crew would have to do it. Yep. And I highly doubt that he could do it himself, as it looks like the white flag is in hand. Yeah, that window net is down. White flag is waving for Kate Martin, the 507. The 501 of Dane Culver's crossing the line in second, but that window is down, and I don't know. If there was a pro class, I think there'd be a black flag being waved up there. Where's that guy in Hogan Terry Schultz? I see nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. I know nothing. So Jaden Lemke is checked in. Hey Jaden, how you doing? Long time no see. And Lizzie Santos, she wants to know what color is Drake's. It's a black front with an orange rear fender and lower door. And he's just heading into the inside infield right now yep. on the outside. And well, here we go. Checkered flags in hand. Cade Martin, Dane Culver. And how about that, Ashton Williams? Yeah. Ryan Denny finished just outside there in the fourth position with Talon Martin. Running our top five, Brody Martin, Argyros, John Walls. Well, I can say this, that Dane Culver's winning that was down for almost the entire second half of the race. We'll find out if that uh, this is... Uh, what was going on there with Dane Culver's spot. But with as, many, with as many spotters that were throwing up the touchdown sign, everyone's shaking hands and high five and walking down the grandstands. Don't know what to think, Scott. <laughs> the intensity of the moment.
So, one more time, we got Dave Arnold heading trackside to talk to probably some of the most fun drivers to interview. Our top three mod cart finishers. We'll be back in just a moment with the interview. Well, what an incredible race, these kids. I say it's always like uh, the Kids Pro 2 race, the mod carts here. So we're going to go ahead and get up here, just waiting on Dane. We'll talk to him. Well, we can start here. We got Ashton Williams up here in third, of course, Dean Culver, and uh, Cade Martin up on top of the box here. Everybody know uh, Cade's sitting in the points in there. There, I know Talon was our points leader going into this, but uh, we'll find out. So we're going to talk to Ashton, you know. Two classes, two podiums, a little lower than you wanted to be than you were earlier, but still a great finish because highly competitive class with you guys in mod carts. Yeah, it's a rough class. It's definitely uh, one that you bump in. Uh, my leg kind of hurts to hit the little bar when I hit some people, but uh, it's fun. I mean, it's almost like I was saying, it's like watching, you know, kids in pro twos. <laughs> yeah, it, it literally is. So I'll tell you, you got some great people to thank for this one here for this third place. Yeah, I want to thank Toyota of Redlands, Bergeson's Heating and Air Conditioning, WIC Consulting, Scott Track, Bonafide, everybody come out here today. My family, my brother, my dad, my mom, my spotter, Brian, Kevin, my, I mean, my, yeah, my spotter, Brian, and I'm just glad to be up here and have fun. Give it up to this young man, Ashton Williams, one more time, third place with a great performance. And talk about great performance, man, Nate Culver. Man, you and Cade and Talon, all these guys are battling. Ashton's up in the mix. I mean, talk about elbows throwing, bumpers bumping. Yeah, it's definitely um, it's a step up from junior two. It's way different. And a lot of power. You know, it's like power to rate ratio. I mean, really, you guys are like the Pro 2s or like the, the SR1s out there. A lot of power. So you got to learn a lot of throttle control and car control, right? Yeah, it feels a lot different. Like, you slide a lot more. You catch a lot more. Like, there's just a lot more reaction time involved. You're like triple the horsepower of a junior, too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely a big difference. So tell me about your race, man. I'll tell you, you know, it was physical with everybody out there. I know you had the lead for a while, and it was a little frustrating. But after that, to recover, just to hold on to the podium. Yeah, um, I was trying to hold it off for about um, – like seven seven laps until Cade finally got me and I got him right back and I think that that next turn and then he just got me again I was like no and then he just started leaving and then at that point I was just trying to catch him well it paid off you made it up here you got it you know 
it's it's a good spot to be because just to make the podium in mod carts an accomplishment. So I know you got people to thank for that. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God for keeping me safe. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, my mom and dad, and my grandpa for coming out. Um, I'd also like to thank ITP Tires for my tires and um, all the other sponsors that I forgot. <laughs> Dane Culver, everybody give it up for this young man right there. Second place, look at performance. But how about being in the right place and uh, getting by clean. Cade Martin, that was a nice one there for sure. Yeah, it was a super fun race, one of the best I've had. Um, we, we started third and then followed Talon, Talon and Dane for a few laps, then got around Talon, then had a couple laps battling with Dane. Super clean racing, super fun. Um, and then once I got by him, just led the rest, took it home. And it's hard, you know, we, we saw it one time, you guys were three wide going down that infield. Yeah, that split lane is super fun, you know, you all just get mixed up in there. Well, that was a great one, and I know you got people to thank for this win here, and I know, you know, last race tomorrow, so it's got to feel good. Yeah, I got to thank uh, my mom, my dad, um, Eminem Cutomatic, Sunset Signs, um, PCI, uh, Jim Yoakum, Zach, Sparko, um, RPC, um, Martin Brothers Racing, everyone that comes out and supports us. So many people help us do this and make it possible. Give it up for that young man right there, Kate Martin, with a great performance there. But again, Ashton Williams, one more time. Dane Culver and standing tall on top of the box, Kate Martin holding those beautiful Louis Tozier Designs trophies. Love that with a Coliseum. Great American Shore course looking good there. It's a prize to take home for sure and quite an honor for these drivers. Well, we got more to come. Don't go anywhere as we go back up top. <laughs>